Dreadheads, welcome back to the channel. On today's live stream, we are gonna be unboxing the Frigo F1 Pro. Again, I'll be explaining why Shreddead is sitting, is sitting on the first Frigo that they sent us, but uh, once I get this one unboxed and all put together, I'll kind of compare both of them and show you what the problems were on that bike and the reason why I wasn't able to review it. Uh, before we get started on this video, if you guys do want to support the channel, as always, check out all those links down below. Check out that link for the Frigo F1 Pro. Make sure you use code SHREDDY and get $100 off your order. I think right now it's retailing for uh, $16.99. Normally it's about $2,300. Uh, but for $16.99, you also use code SHREDDY, another $100 off that. So if you guys are interested, make sure you use that code SHREDDY on that. And if you guys aren't interested in a Frigo F1 Pro, if this isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. So who's all in here? What's going on, everybody? It's a Friday. It's a little bit chilly. It was so nice and warm uh, throughout the week, except for today. Dee's behind the camera. Say hi, Dee. Hey, guys. I, happy I think New Year. the mic's right there, if you don't mind grabbing it. Yeah, Happy New Year 2023. I can't believe it. And um, I think it's the first time we ever did like a live Q&A down there or a poll or something. I don't know if you guys want to answer if you, what, what you guys are most excited for to see in 2023, like what EV or whatever, e-bike, uh, electric car, just any electric vehicle. Let me know what you're excited. Electric scooter. Electric ability. scooter, uh, one wheel. There's actually another company in China that's making like a kind of like a one wheel like knockoff, but it's like a VESC board. So you can kind of like program it or it's kind of like open source so you can do whatever you want to it so I, I think that's pretty cool that should be coming out so i think it's called like float wheel or something <laughs> but oh yeah you know what i always forget if you guys are interested in any e-skate or like one wheel accessories or even just e-skateboards from a one-stop board shop there is a link down below use uh pretty sure code shreddy for like 5% off any kind of e-skate accessories if you guys are ever interested in that stuff. Let me get my water. Any questions in here before I open this box? It's Friday, I'm sure everybody's out. So you got this bike fast, right? This bike came really quick after I told them what was going on with this. It came in, in less than a week, right? It was like a few so days. So good customer service, guys. Yeah, it was really quick. It was super, super fast. Always a plus. But, um. Yeah, so this unboxing is a little crazy when you guys do get this. They glue the top of the box, so I did get my razor, so I think I'm gonna slice the whole box, the top off, and just take it right off. So, yeah. Okay, so what bike is this again? This is the Frigo F1 Pro. It's a $1,600 electric moped style. So I would say like if you were in the market for like a super 73 aero rider or something like that and you just can't afford it and you've been wanting to join like all these group rides uh and you can spare 16.99 or it would be 15.99 with code shreddy i think this would be the bike for you so it's like a cheaper super 73 alternative exactly as you can see partially back here the way it kind of looks this one is a different color by the way they have two color options available and we're gonna have both of them here on the channel. This you is might so want much... to get away from that tree. <laughs> Step forward. <laughs> yeah, Dee's gonna kill me if I kill this tree. Oh. All right, let's see who's in the live chat. What's up, guys? Never mind, so is from Aloha from Hawaii. Hawaii, what's going Aloha. on? I need, to go, I need to go to Hawaii so bad. We're going Kevin to Hawaii. Brewer, howdy. Kevin, are you from the south? We have Aloha from Hawaii and a and howdy. Howdy, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say Merry Christmas in Hawaiian? Oh, that's right, Melikiliki Maka. <laughs> right? I was going to say Feliz Navidad. I was like, oh, wait that's, a minute. That's, that's Spanish. Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> they don't speak Spanish over there. I mean, they may, but I don't think that's their uh, official language. N4CR2K9. I have the Frigo DK200, and it's a pretty good budget Super 73 clone. Nice. What do you uh, What do you think about it? Like, what's the speed on yours? So is, I wonder if yours is similar to this one. So this one's supposed to peak around 1,400 watts. And my, my guess, it probably has like a 750 watt motor and Maybe it peaks for like a second or something, but Robert Wozniak, we'll hi, Shreddy from Philly. 
What's up from Delaware? Hell yeah, you're not too far. Maybe you can join us on a group ride sometime. Oh. So as always, I like laying the bike down when it's just me uh, pulling the bike out of the box. Makes life a lot easier. Eli Carrasco, K Pasa from the RGV. Where's that? What is the RGV, Eli? RGV. We're gonna Carl open Schubert, and from Cincinnati. Oh, Cincinnati. hell yeah. Everyone's from all over the place. Don Bug, hi, Shreddy and D. What's hey, up, guys. Don? Happy New Year. What did everybody do for New Year's? EN4CR says mine goes up to 30 miles an hour. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. This is probably probably going to be like the same speeds as a super around 30 to 32 miles an hour um, but we'll see we'll see Greg Alexander PA Pennsylvania in the house hey. that's near us too got more people from Carl PA. Schuber hello that's from awesome. Cincinnati Let's Kevin go Brewer on. Pennsylvania all my life but worked in Texas for a week too hot for me oh really what part of Texas are you in I would love some heat right now. Today's like the first coldest day. Yeah, today was <laughs> chilly. Even it, it was in the 50s, but we did get that cold blast out. Arctic blast was crazy. Yeah, Christmas break was great because it warmed up a little bit. Hold on, I think there was something else in there. Did everyone have a good break? We took a little break too. Yeah, did anybody get uh, any e-bikes for Christmas? And what e-bikes did you get? If you did get an e-bike. I remember this. this Robert Wozniak. Was I did once remember you I know. ran into you guys in front of the ferry terminal. I had a fat tire bike with the BBSHD. Oh, that's right. I remember. Yeah, yeah. That's right. How are you doing? I don't, I'm, I don't know if I had a card back there back then. I, I'm pretty sure I gave you my info. We should we should definitely hang out and uh, get a ride in. You oh, had the parts like from Luna, right? You bought you bought that from Luna Cycles. Did you take the ferry? We love taking the ferry. I don't even know why he was there. He might have, I can't remember. I, I remember meeting him. I remember that bike for sure. All right, we got a headlight. Eli Carrasco, Brownsville, Texas, Rio Grande Valley, South Texas. Oh, nice. I was just in Kempner, Texas, Houston, Texas, Austin. Where else, D? I think that was it, right? Yeah, that for was all the, the parts. Mega Ride and the Electrify Expo. That was a lot of fun. If you guys uh, missed those videos, make sure you go back and check those out because I had so much fun in Texas. I can't wait to make, make it back there. There's actually another mega ride going on in uh, Florida. Yeah, dude, that's gonna shake a so little bit. So for some reason, this is very bouncy. <laughs> yeah, what you could do is maybe like, if you wanna move it, you can kind of like Everything hold keeps on bouncing. to it and kind of move it like that, it loosen it, tighten it, and then tighten it. Okay. Like that. Yeah, okay, just like nice. that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, but, technical difficulties oh, no. when we're live. That's okay. <laughs> oh no, that was a first. Look, struggling with Shreddy already. I got a, I got a towel right here. He's like, Shreddy just spilled his water. That is not okay. <laughs> struggling with Shreddy. Yep, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Leave us a comment what you guys did for your New Year's break while Eddie cleans, <laughs> up cleans his, mess. his mess. Why did I put the water? Yo, you guys saw me put the water on the floor. I was like, don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, what did everybody do for New Year's, Christmas? Anybody say they got any e-bikes for Christmas? Any e-bikes? Let's see, we have, um, let's see, I see the next one was PR in the house, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, que pasa? Do you guys know that's where Shreddy is originally from, Puerto Rico, San Juan? I almost have all of this. <laughs> EN4CR. I bought this one bike called the X20 for Christmas. It goes 20 miles an hour and has battery options for 20, 25, and 30 AH. How, how big? Oh, 25 and 30 amp hours? That's awesome. And the scarecrow said hello. Dude, if you can get me a little, I am. little long rag thing, there's a small little puddle I gotta get down there. Guys, I'm gonna get back to this unboxing. I just don't like water sitting on our hardwood floors. Now I'm getting all sweaty because I'm struggling <laughs> down here. Let me just run across the camera real quick. Oh, there's water under here and here. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Here you go. <laughs> this here. thing is soaked. Put this under there. I need more water, though. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you, Dee Dee. That's perfect. <laughs> just is, hold on, this isn't supposed it to get wet. Just jam them under there. Doesn't there's, matter. There's wrong way. Wrong there's way. There's paper towels down here. Oh. 
Now they're stuck because they're wet. All right, so Eric Gardner said. <laughs> yeah, you guys. I'm getting it. So have you guys ever seen another episode of Struggling with Shreddy? Where I freaking knock over the darn water, jeez. Put it on the other side too, just in case, and in between the legs. Okay. <laughs> We'll get back Luckily, to this unboxing here very soon, guys. We I'm sorry. We might have to uh, move the whole couch real quick. That'll probably have to happen. Let me make if sure. If anyone's everything... nearby, come help. No, I'm kidding. It looks good. It looks good, D. It looks Put it really in good. between the two legs and the left side. Very good. <laughs> All right, guys. We are ready to resume. All right, back to the unboxing. Get these out of here. <laughs> get that. Get this cup out of my face, because. Just ruined it. We need like a coffee table or something, but we have like a giant ottoman, so <laughs> not sure what to do. If any of you are all right, in struggling with Shreddy continues. All um, right, back to the un show. Unboxing, yeah. All right, so all right, I don't want to knock this tree over, but with how today has already started, <laughs> you guys might see it. <laughs> oh, a that's a cool green. It's like Ooh, a yeah, I like that. It's a matte like olive green that's awesome it's like a baby diarrhea green i like oh it. i like that a lot <laughs> <laughs> not baby diarrhea but that color green could you I just love, fix the rug <laughs> i love baby diarrhea that's my favorite color all right oh there's ice that's how are how's all of your new year's going yeah how's everybody's new year's going everyone's new year going good or is it struggling ours already? started started off with the splash as you can see <laughs> All right, I think, oh, pedals, ah, pedals, pedals. Carl Schuberg, hey, Shreddy, what would you suggest riding steep inclines? Steep inclines, something possibly with a mid-drive, mid-drive. Such as? <laughs> the Suron. <laughs> aero Rider or Lyric are the best ones for going up hills, right? Yeah, you could definitely crush it with the aero Rider Grizzly having the dual motors. Let me get this all out of the way. Also, the spark, the new Spark Cycle Works Bandit has a, uh, they're 52 volt now, so they they definitely got a little more power in them. So they definitely have good climbing power. I was uh, able to crush hills riding in Connecticut with them guys. And if you guys watched um, his new Lyric Graffiti video, he took that up sand dunes and everything. He was like really impressed of how well that did going up hills. Yeah, ripping up the sand. <laughs> that was and a lot of fun. He has um, discount links for all the bikes he just said in the description. So what, Aero Rider, Lyric, Spark Cycle Works, and Suron. I'm just making sure everything was good on this one. It doesn't look like it was like dinged around or banged around. And yep, I noticed one thing that it's better on this one than it was on the last bike. Okay. Yeah, so are you going to tell us um, what was the problem with the last bike? We're, we're going to, uh, I'll tell you afterwards, so because I, I can show you them like kind of next to each other and you can see there were or a, few, a few things. I, I, well, I can tell you the, um, the derailleur was totally messed up, like not, not tuned right. Um, all right, I'll, I'll tell you and then I can show you also. Also, when the back wheel was spinning, the, uh, what, do you, what do you call the, uh, the, the cassette here or whatever, the, all the different sprockets, like the whole back was, was going like this, like shifting like that when the back was moving. So I don't know if that's like the, uh, damn it, what's the name of that thing? Little metal thing that goes through. <laughs> it's like bent or whatever inside there. There's like a metal piece that goes through. What's the name for that? Drop your comments. Throw your comments down about. below. Anyways. Um. Yeah, so, uh-oh, I, I see a little broken piece of plastic here. What is that from? We will see. Um, we will Enforcer. See. Oh, Enforcer, that's what it is. Enforcer. I bought this one bike called the X20 for Christmas. It goes 28 miles per hour and has battery options for 20, 25, yep, and 30 that. AH. Yeah, that's awesome. I read that, sorry. Can you, can you send me a link for that? I'd like to check that out. The Scarecrow, hello, Eric Gardner, hey. That's um, cool having options for uh, different battery sizes from companies and carl for the uh bikes with steep inclines check out his um aero rider review videos and the lyric cycles uh review video for the lyric graffiti 
And then he has uh, videos on the Suron also. But we souped up my Suron. My Suron is unlike a stock Suron. <laughs> Robert, Roberto Alvarez, my Super 73 is doing well now on hills after the torque update. You do, do you like going back to mode two every time you turn it off? That's like, I wanna do a video on the torque update and like see the differences in speed and what it feels like. But man, I just really don't wanna go back to mode two every single time I, I turn the bike off. Do you have to do that? Not now, with I mean, the torque update, oh. yeah, which is crazy. I can't believe they did that. I don't know, I guess that's Roberto, a way to save their butts. Do you have to do that? Yes, if, if he updated to the newest um, update for the Super 73 RX or any of the bikes that take the updates, yeah, that's gonna be that update. Yeah, and more, go ahead. In Europe, they actually updated people's bikes, I guess without telling them that it was gonna remove like throttle and off-road mode and all that stuff, but I guess people kept on complaining and they ended up getting it back so that's cool, but that's just crazy that you, they're able to take away something you paid for. <laughs> well, hopefully that doesn't happen again. I oh, know I'm being careful, try not to scrape up the, the paint. This is a 48 volt, 22 and a half amp hour battery. I'm not sure about the cells in here. And I'm actually not sure about what the controller is, like how many amps it is. I can see the controller box is right there. And if I take the seat off, I can, I can see what it is. My guess is probably like a 25, 30 amp, 30 amp controller or something like that. Nice, I love this color. Yeah, it is pretty cool, I like it. I like how it's like a mat too. And I love the little trunk. The little trunk is pretty neat. <laughs> little storage area in the front. A little frunk. Throw all your tools in there. It does have a little USB slot here so you can charge your phone and charge your laptop or whatever you want to charge. So that's pretty cool. Um, I have still more to undo. Any questions, guys? Did anybody answer any, any of those polls of, of what bikes they want to see? They should, stuff should be down there. And questions, I think you could read the questions all from there. <laughs> Are people answering them? Eddie, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm afraid to hit anything. <laughs> oh, really? No, no, Do right I have to click on in it? The comments? To see it? Oh, I don't know. I've never used it. Do you guys see a poll? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let me yeah, read some know. more comments. Do they? Is there um, a poll on there? I might have read this already, but um, sorry, guys. I'm like going back, forgetting where I was. Enforcer said, Air Rider Kepler and X-Class handle hills pretty well from my experience. I still haven't ridden it, but... Uh, what, the Kepler? Yeah, um, Officer Neil has it, but I didn't get a chance to ride it yet. Yeah, Shreddy has the Air Rider Grizzly, and that's what um, he loves for going up hills and stuff. Huh. Little battery, side. suspension. Oh, the, the wheel is free. Set that right there. CA said, hi, Richard R. Shreddy, What's will, up? Will you be reviewing the Rumble Motors Mighty Apex? Hopefully this year. We'll see, guys. That would be pretty awesome. If you guys want to see Shreddy review any bikes, feel free to reach out to the companies and let them know. <laughs> I want Shreddy to review it. There's a front fender. I wonder if I should take the fenders off this, this one just to make it look a little more ruggedy. Cool, it's not like I'm, I wanna... Um, I think the fenders You like the fenders? Cool. You think I should keep the fenders? Yeah. You really notice them. Enforcer said I got the X20 on Amazon. Oh, Eli Carrasco, how's the Wicked Thumb doing? The Wicked Thumb is doing pretty well. Uh, I think we're gonna be seeing a new Wicked Thumb here on the channel very soon. One that actually D can possibly ride on. So excited. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I can say too much about it. That's about all I can say. Um, Don Bug, Bent Axel. Bent Axel, the Axel, I love you, bro. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so what we're gonna do is get the handlebars, flip, wheels, pedals. Uh, make sure the brakes are good, make sure my nuts are tightened. Always check your nuts, all that good stuff. Um, let's see, they gave us tools to put in our little tool pouch here. Let's close it up. There we go. 
That thing's cool. I really do like that. That's, that's pretty neat. You can take that off too. And then I'm sure if you want to mod a whole seat that would go on top of there, you can do that if you want. Roberto Alves, uh, it's not ideal, but the difference is big where I live. Oh, okay, the Super Sonic 3 update. Eno, Pin Eno Pedo must be wheel axle. The wheel axle, yep. CA, you what's, got your, it. what's your favorite 20 by four fat tire bike other than the Grizzly Shreddy? Another 20 by four fat, well, recently I've been having a lot of fun uh, doing wheelies, so. <laughs> We're going to say I'm having fun on my Super 73 recently, but my other one that I think it's would be more like a daily commuter would be something like the Spark Cycle Works Bandit. Right now, I'm just going to remove the uh, oh, this right here and then get could the handlebars Could you also on. do wheelies on the Lyric in the video? You're doing wheelies on it. I didn't. I need, I need to switch the brake levers so I can get better on it. He should be getting a lyric soon, guys. For very review. soon, actually. Very I know he soon. has the first look video, if you guys caught that, but he should be getting it soon as well for a full review video. Carl Schubert, I got a secondhand Grizzly still in a box. Really? What, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> what are you doing with it? I'm going to ride it. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to put it together? And actually, which Grizzly did you get? The V1, V2, the dual 750, the dual 1000 watt motor. Let's see something going on. What's going on? Okay. That's for the headlight. This is, these are the little brackets for the headlight. Damn, they put them on there tight already. Alan Schmidt said, not a fan of the steel frame. You don't like the steel frame? What do you think of it, Shreddy? I mean, I, it's going to be more durable than than another bike I have that broke in half at one point. But um, so you like that's where you're going to save money, though. That's why this bike is $1,600. I, 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 I think you can't beat it for the price, though, if it functions as it says it does. We'll see on the review. CA said steel is real. I'm just kind of finger uh, tightening everything on, just a few threads. The handlebar? Yeah, just to grab and then I'll be able to flip it. Let me know if you guys want to see anything closer that he's doing and I can go over and show you. That actually disconnects off of there Should magnetically. I just come over now? Nah, you don't have to, it's fine. It's just it's handlebars. Fine. You guys, you guys know how to do handlebars. Let's go see what he's doing. I think they're guys. more excited to see what what was broken on the bike before? Um, I don't know where I just put the... <laughs> da! The, here it is. I should do like a black rug with these tools. So do you're just tightening the handlebars? Yep, a nice little cross pattern. Check out this bike, guys. Yeah, I do like that green. It's a pretty cool looking green. This thing is stuck on all this tape. Sorry, I threw all that stuff and right, styrofoam. right in the way. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. In a second, I want you, I, you guys probably saw it, but I want Shreddy to show you guys the shirt he's wearing. It's really cool. You guys can purchase that off his merch website. It should yep. pop up under the YouTube video. Oh, did, did they see it already, the back of my shirt? Yeah, when you were like turned with your back facing us, we could see the shirt look really cool. Very nice. CA said, is that CP300 display I see? I think so. Let me know if you know how to program it. Maybe I could push some more power out of this thing. I'm a junk. Oh, I got a new video premiering tomorrow, right? At noon. Yep. I forgot about that. Little old school, little group ride on the, I actually rode a White Mike's 72 volt X-Class. Goes way faster than 49, like he said in the video, because he, he beat me in a race. All right, I'm just gonna leave it like, like that. 
Actually, a little bit tighter so it stays when I flip it. Kevin Brewer, if you keep getting bikes, you're going to have to rent a warehouse for storage. I know. That, well, there's actually a company just reached out, wants to send me three bikes, like, right away. I'm like, uh, can you pay for a storage for me? That would be great. <laughs> so you can send me as many bikes as you want. <laughs> Hook a shreddy up with some storage room. Um, yeah, we're going to flip it upside down, get that wheel on. Then the headlight. I remember the headlight being like weird to get on, but we'll do it anyways. Maybe I should tighten that a little bit more, but we'll see. We'll see if it holds. So you're it. flipping the bike? Yeah. That way I can get that front wheel on. Easier. I don't know if this, the handlebars are tight enough to hold it from flopping down. Flopping. I guess we're good. We're good. CA All said, right. same as my element, change tire size to 16 and top speed to its max. Quick release. No other hacks I know of, Shreddy. No more hacks on this bad boy unless you hit Bomber Marva. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't put a one of those spacers in there. I have to open up the brake caliper, unfortunately. Did you have to do that on the last one? No, I didn't. Must have been just a brake got hit a little bit. Pistol? I'll be right back. D, can you just answer Pistol any? Pete said, Quit. Shreddy, loving your channel, bro. Thank you, P Pistol Pete? Yes. Thank you, Pistol Pete. I appreciate it, brother. Full name, Pistol Pete. Out here really quick, grabbing a little brake rotor opener. Is it a 500 watt? This is supposed to be, I think it's a 750 that they say peaks to... 1400 watts. Dude. Yes. All right, so let's check out what he's doing, guys. I'm seeing if I could just push these, the piston open. Feel free to comment with any tips for this part. Oh, no, I might not even be doing this right. Huh. Brian Flores, hey there, I'm just arriving and you're awesome. What's Love all your up? videos. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Bubba right. Shitty, what's up? All right, I think we're open. We're 100% open. So for those people just joining, do you want to tell them what bike this is? This is a Frigo F1 Pro. So it's a 48 volt, seven, I think it's a, I'm pretty sure it's 750 watt, but they claim it peaks up to 1400 watts. But we're definitely going to see about that in the first ride and review video. Did I open that enough? Ooh, that's rubbing nice and hard. All right, let's get this quick release through. Dimebag Darren, Vancouver. Oh, dude, I was just talking about wanting to see Pantera like yesterday. Dimebag Daryl is the guitarist <laughs> I was like, for Pantera that got killed on stage in front of his brother. Oh no, Vancouver's beautiful. I just saw people had a wedding there. It was so pretty, I wanna go. You guys are from all over the place tonight. I uh, know. This is a fun stream, guys. Thanks for thanks so much for joining. And you guys all have cool, uh, cool YouTube names. channel names. Make sure if you guys are enjoying and you, if you hadn't hit that like button, make sure you hit that like button. Brian Flores, I'm getting my GeForce ZM e-bike tomorrow. Can't wait. Hell yeah. Get out there and ride. Um, for those of you, if any of you guys are on Instagram or TikTok, <laughs> Facebook, be sure to add Shreddy there, Shreddy McSkate. Jeez, that's like tight. <laughs> it opened, the caliper opened, but it didn't, uh, it like closed back up. You guys have any tips on getting the caliper open? <laughs> Usually you can just like push it open. Like Should I we just show did. them? Do I need to zoom in to anything to show them what's going on? Hold on. Pistol Pete, all good. Thank y'all for the great reviews. One helped me make a decision on the wicked thumb. And yeah, tragedy about Dimebag. All love from Florida. Thank you, Pistol Pete. Hopefully you were able to use Shreddy's discount link for wicked thumb. Looks like the, the front um, rotor is like slightly bent. On the last one, the front rotor was so horribly bent. It was insane. So that just gets, happens in shipping sometimes? Yeah. Those, those are super easy to bend. 
Are they easy to fix? You can take them off and bend them yourself, or you could just get them to send out another set. Carl Schubert, Frigos are fun, good bike, not too much noise. Best advice, he's not used to use grease front back axle. Sorry, I'm in con concentration mode. I'm trying to like <laughs> align. Should I zoom in you guys? The caliper by the way you're supposed to do it. And if it doesn't work this way, I'll try to eye it up to see if I can get less scraping on there. Dime bag Darren said, what's the best bike for heavy guys? Have you checked out the Huck Cycles? They make some pretty crazy looking bikes. That's like a motorbike. We have a discount pretty much link a, for- The motorcycle at this point now, yeah. the way they, uh, they're building them with, with only, only pegs, pegs only. Oh wait, it doesn't have pedals though. Nope, it's pretty much a motorcycle. Yeah, if, you, if you're interested in like an electric motorbike type bike, there is a Huck Cycles discount link to, down below, but it, they do not make it with there. pedals anymore. Um, yeah, they, they want about, you to register it as a. Is Aero Rider good for motorcycle. heavier guys? I would think. Yeah, I think that. that's rated for like three up to three hundred and thirty pounds. I want to say. So Aero Rider Grizzly up to three hundred thirty pounds has two have to batteries. Look that up. Don't suspension. Catch me lying. That would be good. He has a link for that down below as well. CA said Park makes a rotor bending tool shreddy that's what i need to get definitely if you guys are on instagram send him a link for that <laughs> please he definitely <laughs> needs that i need as many tools as possible and actually probably like some kind of tool bench or something feel free to send him a list tools, recommendation any tools any kind of tools you recommend for shreddy carl schubert said sorry auto trob not w3 what's that Oh, he wrote, Frigos are a fun, good bike, not too much noise, best advice. He's not used grease front back axle. Leave that as is right now. <laughs> it's not listening, guys. What do you say, don't grease the front or back axle? I don't know. Can you rewrite that? So it feels like... That's gone fast. The gears are, are a little bit better tuned, but it's still... If you don't know how to like to tune up the gears or whatever, you'd have to take this bike maybe to like a bike shop and get them to, to get the derailleur all tuned up for you. Okay, Brian Flores said to fix it, you could flatten it with pliers and use a lock machine to hold it in place. I saw someone do this before and it worked. A lock machine? And pliers. Flatten it with pliers and use a lock machine to hold it in place. You should see how badly bent this rotor is it's like it's insane on the other bike i feel like i saw i saw a review recently with this bike and they they had the same so problem. are you going to tell us what the problem was with the first bike yep once i flip this over i'm going to show you guys oh crap does this say r e-bike builder so i hear this bike was snapping in half l these bikes i haven't heard anything of that from this company Oh, oh, if you do have any kind of like uh, info on that, please send me a link to that. I know of more expensive bikes than this snap in half. Soup AH dope. What happened to the last free go? We're coming, we're coming. Uh, what did I say so far? We had uh, the bent front uh, rotor, horribly bent. And then also there was something else bent on the front too. We'll, we'll show you when I flip it over. Get this headlights on. So that's a 48 volt, 22.5 amp hour battery. Oh, you here, let me get, show you guys Shreddy's shirt really quick. Oh yeah. This Shreddy. is his new logo. You guys can purchase this shirt. I think right, his, right down below. Yeah, right down below. His merch should be linked right under the YouTube video. Pretty cool. All right. Oh, we got two Frigos here, guys. All right. It doesn't look bent on this one like it did on the other one. Oh. 
pistol peat, you should be able to compress the similar piston on the caliper to open back up. Some calipers are different though. Yeah, this one wasn't taking it. <laughs> I tried, I tried my hardest. I'll take it off again and, and see if I can do it. Whoa, there's Gee, like no. Tassin, man. A bike shop would laugh at someone for buying this. I'm trying to get some, some brakes back on this, there we go. Dimebag Darren, yeah, Whoa. all wise, I will. I was thinking some pedals. Like this? Yeah, so for a heavier person, Arrow Rider Grizzly. The Grizzly for sure. Check out that link below. All right, let me tighten up the handlebars, get that straightened out, and then we'll get the headlight on. Dimebag Darren, I'm aware of the Grizzly. I just don't want to miss out on any other better values, like what you are building now. You might want to wait for the review on this bike, to see what I think about it. Yeah, if you want um, something uh, less expensive. But other than that, the Air Rider Grizzly, like Shreddy always says, it's a good price because that's it, definitely the best value for what you what you're getting. Yeah, because it has two, what two? Two batteries, a dual motor, dual battery. So you also have longer range. Yep. Last it used to come with dual suspension. chargers. I'm not sure if it does anymore though. That was a plus. That was the V2 came with the two chargers. And they have other colors now. They have blue, yellow, and red. Yep. Red was uh, the OG. E-Bike Builder. Frigo T1 frame was snapping in half. I believe that's why it was recalled. There's an article on electric from October with pictures. Well, hopefully it's not these ones. We'll see. I'm going to jump it. <laughs> well, if it was recalled, that means they fixed it, yeah, though. Yeah, they definitely aren't selling recalled frames. Hopefully not. Dimebag Darren, do you think the Grizzly is better than the bike in front of you? I would say, yeah, definitely. You're, you're getting better parts. I mean, this is good for the price. Yeah, this is, this is, gonna, this is definitely a budget bike. It's, there's nothing like super wowy about it. I mean, it, it. But it's a nice budget bike for someone starting out that wants like a fat tire off-road bike. Kind of like a motorbike. Yeah, if, if I was like interested in e-bikes and I didn't have like three grand, four grand, whatever to spend on some of those expensive bikes, this would be something I would be definitely interested in, in getting, looking at. So the suspension is adjustable. I did uh, find out recently actually playing with it. If you click it all the way to the right, all the way, it actually totally locks it out so it's not bouncing. That way you don't end up like losing speed when you have like the suspension on, but I'd well, rather it has it, suspension too. I'd rather it be a uh, totally nice and soft and bouncy. What's that? That's good. It has the nice suspension. Oh yeah, it's, it's nice and soft. And the thing, uh, the brakes. I got to adjust the brakes and kind of back them out a little bit. They got them like so close to your hands. That's yeah. a one thing I noticed actually about that one too. It had that same problem. Like the brakes were adjusted so far backwards. Can you show us what you what do you mean? There's like a little adjustment. Let me make sure they gave me the uh, right size. If not, I'm not the, did they not give me one that size? So a little adjustment screw right here and you can turn it left or right, whichever way it goes, it goes out or in. So that's like one of the things I'm probably gonna have to do later when I find that tool. Why, you don't like the brake there? What do you mean? Um, You see how close the brake is? Like, like I like them being a little bit further out, like the lever being out a little bit further. And like this one like goes all almost all the way in like that. But yeah, adjusted it. I don't get it guys. But yeah, one of the problems with that <laughs> fork the, that front fork on the old bike was was actually bent. This one actually looks straight compared to that one. So in shipping that box must have gotten pretty beat up. Okay, so that was the problem with the last one, the fork? Yep, fork and then I had a uh, uh the bent axle. I'll show you the bent axle here in a second. Ah. Uh, Forgot about the the front. You always do that. Mm-hmm. Look, it goes the other way. The other way. Just like that. Yep. Need that like that. Where are my nuts? My nuts. Time back, Darren. I'm looking for all, at all of these scrambler style bikes. I'm wondering if I use that. So you'd recommend 
this or Arrow Rider Grizzly for the Scramble Styler bike. Yeah, I mean, what's what is your budget really? That's like the the main thing. And what style of riding do you really want to do? What about um? What's the use you're going to be doing with your Spark? E Spark Cycle Works um, Bandit moped that he also has a discount code for. Um, that's that's for heavier people. Um, oh, here it is. And it's, a, it's almost like a bigger bike, right? The Bandit moped, definitely, yeah. That one peaks, I think that's about 1,500 watts. And that's a scrambler style? That's more of a moped style. What but you can definitely um, customize that bike in many different ways. Sorry, I'm getting a little sweaty. I got like uh, my thermals on. <laughs> it's a shreddy getting sweaty. And then there's Lyric Cycles. Is that for up to like 300 pounds or? I forget the weight, the weight capacity on the Lyric Cycles. I totally forget that. Did I put that on there? Check out oh, his perfect. videos um, for Arrow Rider Grizzly, the Spark Cycle Works Bandit, and um, the Lyric Graffiti. And yes, there's sir, even yes, the Lyric sir. Voodoo. The L Lyric Voodoo 305 Ghost. I haven't ridden a Voodoo Voodoo by itself on video yet. You've ridden the limited edition Voodoo by Tyson yep. Beckford. Tyson Beckford, yep. Same Actually got to that. take his bike and turf some lawns. Don't tell anybody though. GTA Sandman. I can't trust a bike that they seem to throw at every YouTuber like free samples at Costco. Well, you got to try it out first. Got to have <laughs> me try it out before. I'm going to be brutally honest about this bike. I'm going to put it through the, the ringer. But you know, Costco has good stuff. <laughs> yes, they do. Don't they sell a lot of those uh, Jetsons there? I see those things like all over the freaking place, man. Insane. Soup. Uh, got the bend dope. on that one. My F1 Pro came with a bent rear too. It was bent where the derailleur was, out of line. And on the first ride, the bike shifted over the biggest sprocket and chain got stuck between the sprocket and motor. Ay, 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 really? Then what happened? <laughs> and then? <laughs> Did you contact customer service? Uh, Brian Flores, what I meant to say about the lock machine is really a swivel vice grip machine. It's a swivel vice grip machine, Treddy. You got to send me a link on that, my send friend. Send him a link. Oh, crap, holy, where'd that go? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to unscrew this. Because I feel like I want to put these screws in first because it's like got a weird like bend to it. Babooey. Dylan did a video on this bike last week and the motor was making weird noises. Yeah, he actually hit me up after that. Yes, yeah, Shreddy uh, recommended. He's like, yo, did your bike do that? <laughs> Shreddy recommended Dylan to free go. Um, and Chris Shaw. Shaver's got Shaver. one of these. So if you've seen the reviews, that's why. Um, Greg Alexander, the new Grizzly comes with one charger, same connection on both back. You purchase oh, a second charger. Really? Wait, what? Yeah. The new Air Rider comes with oh one Just charger. One I charger. thought he meant one. I thought he meant like one battery. I was like, no what? way. <laughs> oh yeah, that's okay. That's like the the main selling points, like having that uh. Okay, so it still has a dual battery, battery. Dual motor. Good. Yeah, I feel like I want to put these little ends in first because these are like weirdly bent. So I just want to get these E-bike builder. Dylan jumped his and probably broke the planetary gears. Like yeah, he did on he, his previous multiple Super 73 bikes, lol. Yeah, he also... That's at least the third time Drops it that. out of the back of his, uh, his bus. He doesn't just, like, gently take it out. <laughs> yeah, you guys, just don't drop the bike. He plops it right out. Yeah, he said worse. It sounded worse after it dropped out of the back of the bus. <laughs> it did drop out of the back of the bus. Yeah, that's why. Well, guys, I, that's why it was messed up. <laughs> I try to not jump. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, that's funny. I will definitely be jumping this bike though, folks. Out. Yeah, see, that's got to get bent up. Did you like guys that. see uh, Shreddy and Dylan's video? It's on um, oh, Shreddy well, of the um, well, one the Mega Ride in Houston, and then Austin. The Austin Electrify Expo. And then Austin is weird. And then Austin is weird. So Austin is weird. Together. <laughs> Austin is weird. So yeah, they're on Shreddy's channel as, actually, I think they're linked under this. It says watch next. You can check out the Mega Ride. You can check out the Electrify Expo. 
the different bikes they tested. Dude. They ride a bucket bike together. It's so funny. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? E-bike builder. The motor is a Bafang G60. The planetary gears are nylon. It's not made for jumping. Nope. Hold on, let me make sure the screw even screws in there. Like, what the hell? It feels like it's, like, not grabbing. Dimebag Darren, here's a better question. Which Scrambler bike you reviewed has the best built frame underneath it all? Out of all the bikes that I've reviewed, the, the best scrambler. built frame? Best built frame. <laughs> There's one that I would say definitely not. Um, damn, I haven't really, like jump too many of my bikes super duper crazy hard but what do you plan do you want to jump your bike like what do you mean do you want to do off-roading is that what your your like, plan what's is? One like, is like best quality best built i've definitely beat the hell out of the uh the arrow rider grizzly riding them sand dunes yeah it's still good right still kicking ass yeah so arrow rider grizzly that he's recommending check out the <laughs> link in the description there for arrow rider grizzly yeah, so these... I, mean, I think all the frames have been good except one. <laughs> yeah. One broke. No, it wasn't a mine that broke. Brand, a different brand. I got hit by one and it broke. Oh, yeah, he accident. got hit and it broke, so that would make sense. And right? they sent me a broken frame. Not Arrow Rider, someone else. You guys will see it if you guys look back in my videos. Um, GTA Sandman. LOL, at least the Jetsons are solid. Picked up one with my friend over for 140. It was nice and oh, but damn. painfully slow. It does not do the advertised speed. Only only 140 bucks? You know what? You are what? right, though, because I do see people going so slow in them, like at campgrounds. I'm getting some kind of, like, um, super small folding bike from Engway coming here soon. I forget the name of it. It's, like, super duper small, though. It's, like, the size of a Jetson. All right, yeah, so getting one like a Justin soon. He can review. For you I guys. recommend if you put on the front fender, put these on first because the way they're bent. Like if you put it up here first, like it's hard to bend these down to get these little arms to grab. So now I'm kind of doing everything in reverse, I guess. But let's see if I can actually bend this up here. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I should have done this with the the first one. Rick, hmm, still trying to sell my Zugo Rhino so I can get another bike. I just want it for rides in the park. I just want it to be comfortable, and this looks interesting so far. Why don't you like your Zugo Rhino? But I got to see if this bike is good for dudes 6'4 and taller. I forget what this is uh, actually rated for. I want to say it was like 264 pounds is the max capacity for this. So Shreddy is six foot. He looked fine on it, but six four, we'll get him to sit on it again. So I'm gonna, I just wanna push that up all the way before I tighten it up. And so. if you're looking for a budget bike, this would be it. Cause the other ones are pretty, are more expensive than this. Yeah. There we go. And from, I remember the headlight was weird to mount. Let me look at the, on the inside. Huh. Rick. Right. Oh, okay, sorry. I already read that one. Next. Oh, that's right. I knew it was, something was weird. Like, you got to bend it really weird to actually get it to grab. It's like really weird. It's really hard to get in. Dimebag Darren. To me, I can see me hot riding my bike in the future, but I would like to start with the beefiest frame, maybe the two motorcycle shocks in the back. Sorry, I'm in concentrate mode right now. <laughs> Did I face that back or forward? Are you putting on the light now? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the light right now. I'm just seeing how I did it. <laughs> like it's facing like that. Do you want me to repeat this comment? Yeah, hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Okay, so he's putting on the one. light, guys. I'm going to zoom into that. Ah, that's nothing. Well, you can repeat the comment. Okay. <laughs> Don Meg Darren said, to me, I can see me hot riding my bike in the future, but I would like to start with the beefiest frame, maybe with two motorcycle shocks in the back. That's what the uh, the Bandit has. 
I know a lot of people that actually have uh, gotten the bandit turned into a 72 volt bandit. They actually even have like a uh, an extended swing arm you can get for it. So that's always a not another option you can do. And right, um, if they use one? code Shreddy, you can save 200 off the Spark Cycle Works Bandit. Is just, it 200 now? Just count link down below. I'm pretty sure it's 200 off now. That's sick. There we go. Get that See, nice hey, it's a van, not a bus. It actually, it's a converted like yeah, it's it's an old uh, <laughs> what do you call those? A transit van, or is it a, no? What do it's, you call those? It is like shuttle a, bus. It's a shuttle bus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're right. Shuttle van bus. life shuttle bus. It's a shuttle bus. GTA Sandman. The expo video is what led me to this channel. I went to the expo in New York. It was kind of garbage. A lot of cheap off-brand bikes. That's what we heard, right? We yeah. heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hover One had a Super Seventy Three clone that was really nice. That's I'll awesome. I appreciate you checking out the channel and ha hanging out with us. Yeah, I personally, like, I watched his uh, Where is Electrify, it? Houston um, Electrify Expo yeah. video, and I was like, oh, my God, it looks like so much fun. I want to go next year. Okay. Now we're going to do this. It looked like really fun bike brands. It was a fun video. Yeah, awesome. It was a blast to hang out at. It was awesome hanging out with the guys at Zoos, Galeric, Shy. They say it's shy, not chai. How weird is that, right? I thought it was chai battery system, C-H-I. But they said it's shy, like, like you're shy. I'm like, what? Crazy, right? Yeah, if you guys have any Suron Super 73 Air Rider chai battery systems, Shreddy has a discount link for them as well if you want to upgrade your battery. Anaconda Hugs, what's up? What's up? Did you just get off of work? Dimebag Darren, style transportation, have the bandit in my list. Perfect. Brian Flores, I sent the link to your Instagram. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, sir. Dimebag Darren got the lyric on the list too. Thanks. Dimebag, just remember all these bikes he has discount links for in his YouTube descriptions or in his link tree on Instagram. Or feel free to message him as well. Brian Flores, link to your Instagram. His Instagram is Shreddy McScape. Same name as his channel. Okay. Dimebag Darren. Oh, yeah, I've watched the vids and will likely watch them again. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the support, my Matt brother. Matt the Mechanic. Broski. Yo ho. We almost needed your help, Matt. Bubba Shitty, 73. Dimebag Darren. As a fabricator, I see some things I can do to that bike. What can you do? What can we do? Red Band. Hey, Shred. Nice hey. space and furniture. What's up, brother? Thanks, Thanks for joining, Redman. man. Hey, if you ever come to Delaware, you got a place to stay, brother. We got a huge ass basement here that is never used. It's fully, fully finished. Yeah, come to the beach. <laughs> Red Band, I'm coming with Shreddy next time. Yeah, she, looked, she was sad that she didn't get to hang out. Austin looked like so much fun. I love Texas. Me too. I wish I was there now. It's getting cold here. What's a what's the weather down there? Is it still cold? Yes, yeah, it's still cold in Texas. That's crazy. I couldn't believe like when I landed in Houston, it was freaking like forty degrees. We watched Kill Tony. Can we watch the secret show, or is it like a secret? Is it's a it secret. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that too. Red Band. I meant to ask you. I have a, a a blind comedian friend that went blind in his thirties and. He wants to go down to kill Tony. I was wondering if we could hang out maybe sometime soon. He's got a crazy story. He's actually dates somebody that's married and her husband dates other people and it's like a crazy open relationship. It's a pretty insane story he's got. And he's also the mayor of Titty City, so lots of, <laughs> lots of crazy stories there. So he's a comedian in what, Michigan? Yeah. Detroit or no, Missouri? I don't it's know. one of those like Minnesota. Big Minnesota. Minnesota. One of those big cities up there. Ugh. And you guys, I haven't taken down the tree yet. <laughs> it looks so pretty. We'll take it down. All right. I think we're good for now. We're good. Let me hook up the light. Enforcer, the Jetson was my first e bike, but it only did 12 miles an hour, and I eventually want something faster. Have you seen people like hooking up those little like e bikes and make them go even faster? That's like so dangerous. I go on Reddit all the time and just see like 
the crazy inventions these people are doing on these e-bikes. Mad scientists. All right, so let's get let's get the other one that in front. That would be hilarious to have um, a little bike like the Jetson that does five miles an hour like go really fast. Oh, well, you tried at the Electrify Expo. You tried um, that one bike that was small went really fast. Oh, the Jackrabbit. That thing was fun. It wasn't Jack super Rabbit. fast. The I think Burrow it. Max. I thought it was. Oh, the Burrow Max. It was like the mini uh, Suron. Yeah. Oh, hey. And if you yeah. guys are in, what are those two bikes, Burrow Max or the Jackrabbit? He has yeah, the little Jackrabbit. I do have a link for Jackrabbit. I don't know if I have a discount. He has the links for them for Jack under Rabbit. the Electrify. What did, I can't think of the fucking thing. Electrify Expo in Houston video. Yep. So can you do you guys notice the slight bend in that fork? Kind of bends into the bike. So that's one problem. Both sides of forks are bent in on that one. And then as you can see, this one's totally straight. So they did good with that. I, I do gotta fix the front brake being locked up on the, the green one though. Oh, and the then fan said it's 77 today. Nice. Oh, you lucky. It's gonna get colder up here. And then um, can you zoom in right here into the sprocket? Do you see it going like that? You can even hear it going whoop, whoop. You see that? Let me dude? zoom in. Like the whole thing it. is just moving back and forth. And also the gears like barely work on it. Um, so that was the problems. Having a bent fork is always scary, but um, I will be sell selling this bike pretty, pretty cheap. So let's take a look at this one, make sure it doesn't have the same damn bend on it. We need a different carpet. It's on order. All right, you ready? <laughs> let's see if it does it. Nope, it nice. does it slightly. And my, my rear brake is rubbing on this. So I, I, I got to tune the brakes front and rear. So I feel like with, with a this bike, awesome. like, you know, a little cheap bike like this, you're going to be having problems like that, either with shipping or just them using kind of like cheaper components. But really for the price, man, you can't beat this. I think um, it's easy to upgrade. If you do want to upgrade this bike, put better forks on there. But as is for 16, 1500 bucks, you can't beat a bike like this. What's up, D? I'm just laughing because Redman said Dylan's Frigo is also broken. I think it makes a weird sound. <laughs> yeah. Redman, uh, people in the comments were saying it's because he dropped it out of the back of his bus. <laughs> he also jumped it too a few times, but <laughs> I'm going to be jumping it. I'm going to see what this thing can handle. I'll pull out the drone. We'll go out to the uh, vineyards and the fields there and take it through the dirt and just jump it and see what this thing can actually handle. Um, I may have two broken Frigos after my first review. We'll see about that. But any, any questions, guys, or any, any bikes you guys want to see in the future? Let me see this. Uh... We have a ton of comments. Oh, yeah, the Q&A. Will you ever do one to two hour movie? I got popcorn for it. What? <laughs> yeah, e-bike movie. That what would be cool. I did a live stream uh, ride, what, like two days ago. That was pretty fun, but it was kind of hard having my phone right here, like in the chest mount. Every time I do wheelies, like smacking me in the face. What do you guys want an e-bike movie to be about? <laughs> You have a new video coming out tomorrow at 12. Shred dead. What's your new video coming out tomorrow at 12? Tomorrow's e-bike video is, it's pretty much a group ride with all, all my friends, but it's a, uh, it's more based about uh, white Mike's 72 volt Aero Rider X class, but also Bomber Marv brings his 75 mile an hour Ray Volt Cruiser. That thing is ridiculously fast. Dimebag Darren said, that would be a great comparison video. Take all the style of e-bike, take off all the parts and compare the frames they all start on and rank the frames. You know what I really want to do? I want to do a Franken bike one day. Maybe like get like all the bikes I like and then just Franken bike the parts together and build <laughs> one cool Franken bike. <laughs> I like that name. Franken e-bike. What do you guys think about C that? CA said someone should send Shreddy an e-bike rack to assemble bikes. I need something. I need room for these damn bikes because I, I, to tell you the truth, like... It, it's fun doing the unboxings inside the house or whatever, but I, I like my garage. 
Can someone send us a double car garage? Please. On, <laughs> on the one thing I'm really looking for is a transit van. If I can get a transit van, if you guys are close like PA, Maryland, Jersey, looking for a transit van because I need ones, to travel. Let us know. Yep, I need to travel. Rick said Zugo sucks. You don't like the Zugo? Okay. Matt said this will be a fun bike to mod. It would be, definitely, for sure. Rick, pricey, no rear suspension, looks old even though it's new, lol. I like it. I really like the green color. Let's get it in awesome. the front, yeah. It's got front and rear suspension. They claim uh, top speed, what, about 30 miles an hour. Again, they claim 1400 watt peak, but who really knows? Um, maybe we could, uh, I don't know if Matt the Mechanic is in there, maybe you could hop on the Super, my RX, and we could race, see which one of these two has a little faster takeoff and yeah, that'd be a good video. See what the difference is, is on the review. That'll be fun. Maybe Sweet. I'll get some food in this review. The Scarecrow said, I just ordered your new shirt. I have the black and white one that oh, I bought yeah. in the spring. I like the there orange on the new one. If you guys want a Shreddy Make shirt, check out down, down below. There's all different shirts. I think there's a mask and phone cases and stuff like yeah, that the under the in the video. spring store. Actually, I, I want to get um, some merch from Red Band. I was checking out your shop yesterday, so I'm going to grab something from there for sure. Dimebag Darren, hey bike stand maker, send Shreddy a bike stand. <laughs> Hook a Shreddy up. Hook a Shreddy up with some uh, some e-bike storage. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Zero Boy Rick, we need an American made 4130 steel frame so we can build DIY e-bike ourselves. Speaking of building e-bikes, I do have a lot of uh, parts. I have, I have stuff I can unbox, um, accessories, bike parts for the Suron. And I am doing a Suron, um, uh, not accessories, Suron shirts and hats giveaway. Suron merch giveaway. But I do have stuff for my Suron that I'm going to be upgrading very soon. Like I got, I got the triangle. I don't think I have it here. I might still have the triangle here. We got a, uh, um, crap, what I, I said, I said the word earlier. I got a rear uh, swing arm coming, a new uh, aluminum swing arms coming for us. Uh, me and Matt the mechanic are going to have that. What else do I got? I got a new front fork, uh, new rear shock from Fast Ace. I don't know much about that company, but I mean, we can open that if you guys want to see that. If you you guys... also have um, unboxings for Spark Cycle Works. Spark Cycle Works. We have a Zero Motorcycles giveaway I won that we're going to do an unboxing for together. Yeah. It's not a Zero Motorcycles. Should I show them any of that tonight or you guys no, want to we'll like do it, on other do it another night? We'll just do like uh, an accessory unboxing night, just yeah. accessories or whatever. But definitely stay tuned. We're going to be doing a, a review on this bike very soon. Uh, it's got a few things I got to fix. What, what do I got to fix? The front fork is straight on this. Uh, the front and rear brakes I kind of got to adjust. And uh, actually, you know what? Let's make sure this sucker turns on and see if there's power in that battery. Dimebag Darren said, no, Shreddy. I'm just super damn fat and I want to ride again. So I'm looking for what I might not break. No <laughs> oh, you want you want something power, like super strong and powerful though. Yeah, I think the Aero Rider Grizzly would be for you, man. I think you can't go wrong with that bike, especially with the power having the two motors. If you want something to pull you around really easily, I think that's the bike for you. Okay. He said, I want to know which bike's rated for my weight. So what's so your weight? I'm not to die. <laughs> Let's make sure. Check, yeah, check what the weights are on the bikes. We've got the power, so each uh, level of pedal assist coincides with the speed of your throttle too, so as you go up, the speed of the throttle is gonna go up. Tops out at 35 under no load. I'm sure under load, it probably hits around 30 miles an hour. But, and remember, every time you guys get like a new e-bike that has uh, disc brakes, mechanical or uh, hydraulic, make sure you bed the brakes, go out there and get the, get the rotors nice and hot. Don't lock up the brakes, just get up to like 20 miles an hour, like 10 or 20 times and slow down nice and, and uh, gradually until those rotors get hot and then let them cool down. That's how you bed the brakes so they don't squeal that much. And it looks like it has a functioning, functioning rear taillight. That's pretty cool. So when you hit the brakes, um, Headlight power is probably the plus button. We've got power. That's awesome. That works. That works great. Does it have a bell or horn? We got a bell. That's one thing with like, with me, I, I feel like any e-bike that goes over 28 miles an hour, I mean even 20 miles an hour, I feel like you should always have a horn and, and a bell, something like this for the trails, and then a horn for when you're riding on the side of the road, just 
cars aren't here in this at all. Oh, Die Bank Darren, thank you for the super chat. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate transit, it. All transit van fun. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's like, that's a must. I really need a transit van so bad. I want to be able to, to get two to three bikes and just travel down the coast, maybe down to Texas and yeah, just be able down. to travel really, just to get at it away from the cold because it's so hard to do ride reviews in the cold. Speaking of cold, can you shut that door? Yeah, he said he wants a bike to modify. Landon, what's up with a giveaway? He just did an e-bike giveaway on his Instagram channel. Yep, just we just picked the um, picked the uh, winner what two days ago or two yesterday? nights ago. The winner was chosen. Two it was a foldable ago. bike with JC on. Holding e-bike. Maybe let me hit up Frigo. Maybe we can do a giveaway with these bikes. Let's hit him up. We're, I'm gonna hit him up after this live and let me see if we can do a YouTube giveaway because I had a lot of you getting mad at me because they're like, oh, I don't have an Instagram. I can't join the giveaway, but. Unfortunately, J uh, JC on e-bikes told me I could only do the giveaway on Instagram, so that's how that went. But I want to do a YouTube strictly only giveaway for you guys. Let's see if we can do a free go. I'm going to hit them up and see if they're and interested in doing, doing something like that. And then he is doing like a that. Suron like, merch giveaway soon. Yep, yep, yep. Man, I, I did want to show you guys the fast, the forks and everything, but I guess, yeah, we'll do that, like unbox everything all at once together. Dime Mag Darren, if you like Frankenbike, surely you will start with the best frame. Speaking of Frankenbike, can we move the skeleton to a not so mortal or like immortal position? How about that? <laughs> or whatever it's called. <laughs> he looks like he's dead over there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There we go. <laughs> Matt said, I'll hop on anything for Shreddy. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Matt the Mechanic? Yeah. Hell yeah. Soup a He'll send dope. it for Shreddy. I couldn't get my F1 up to 30 miles an hour. I'd love to see you test the speed on that. Okay, the definitely. I'm... Originally advertised at 1400 watt mo or motor. 1400 watt peak. But now they finally changed it to say it peaks at that. They changed the wording on it. Get out of here. That's crazy. Doesn't they can't do that. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Zero Boy Rick, a new Super 73 RX is 4,000 bucks. That's holy, the one thing. That's holy what I'm bankruptcy. Yeah, this year, the price went up up to pretty much $4,000. That's why something like this will be kind of worth it for somebody that just wants to get an e-bike right away or just get into e-biking. And for all of you that want to save money on e-bikes, check out his discount links in the video's description. Not only for the Frigo, there's plenty of other bikes down there, and I do have... Uh, Actually, $50 off the Suron now from Built E-Bikes if you guys are interested in getting a, a Suron anytime soon. They do sell accessories and everything you would need for upgrading. Math Mechanic, Shreddy, the new battery is going to say hello on the channel soon. It's going to be named Karen Killer. <laughs> the Karen Killer. What are you going to just like rip by people on the trails? Let me get this plugged in, sorry. Landon, yeah, get a Suron for that price. Yeah, I mean, two, two three hundred dollars more. Get a Suron, yeah. And okay. he has a discount code for Suron. Fifty dollars off. It's not no code Shreddy. It's just click the link, discount link. Like once you go click that link for Built E-Bikes, it takes you right in. Fifty dollars off. <laughs> All time bag. Darren said, "Dude, there are nearly ten thousand of us. Brother needs a van." <laughs> Thank you, dime bag. Shreddy, Darren. I don't even have a vehicle at all. D, D has a car, but. I got rid of my truck because I was like, I'm just gonna drive e-bikes everywhere because I live at the beach. And now we need to try Now I'm like, damn, I need around. to get around so I can ride with people. And now the trucks are like double, triple yeah. price. Yeah, like, dude, oh my God, I was looking into like brand new uh, transit vans were like $50,000. Uh, that's a used one. Yeah. <laughs> Loon, Shreddy, D, what's going on? My favorite people. Loon, what's, what's up, up Loon? brother? Thanks for joining. I, I saw you in the chat yesterday. I, Unfortunately, I got one of those migraines that pretty much incapacitates me for the rest of the day. Like, I get migraines. All the time. And they're the worst. I hate it. Time back, Darren. If a Suron had some fakey pedals, Eddie's does. Yeah, they just, they just freely spin. <laughs> I actually met somebody recently that could hook me up with an IV of, um, of vitamins. I wonder if I should do that. Do you think that would hype me up and give me more energy? <laughs> An oh, IV. yeah. We found a place here called Life Med IV. Yeah. He does uh, vitamins, testosterone, Botox. Maybe I'll, I'll get some Botox. Platelet-rich plasma, <laughs> all the good stuff. I'll sub some blood work and stuff. Pretty cool. Anaconda, keep the giveaways on Instagram. Otherwise, those spam bots will plague this channel and harass all of us commentators. Yeah, I, I see that a lot. And that's the one thing I'm always scared about doing giveaways on YouTube is the spam accounts that pop up telling people that they won and, and people getting scammed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, then we could always just tell people to head over to Instagram to enter. 
but we'll that's, that's the thing that people that, that have YouTube and they don't have Instagram, they complain, but I'm just make an account or go uh, enter it through somebody else's account or something. Soup H, dope. I feel you on the migraine thing, man. Same here. It's the worst, man. There was one thing that worked for me. It was this like nasal spray. I forget the name we of it. You had it in it's Texas? Like Sumo Septamin or something like that that worked amazingly. Oh, Sumatropan or something. Yeah, I forget the name of it. It worked awesome. It was just some one squirt and 10 minutes later, you're feeling better. Gibdo, what's up, D? Shreddy and Gibdo. What's Happy up, Happy Friday, Gibdo? everybody. What the hell is everybody doing Friday hanging out with me? <laughs> yeah, this week flew by. No, I figured we're going to be doing an unboxing and assembly. There's a few people on here, you know. You guys would watch it later, but there's some people in here. Don't forget, if you guys are enjoying this fun little live Q&A now after this unboxing, make sure you drop a like. Um, what, what else is coming? So I said there's a Mega Ride coming in March in Florida. So I think I'm going to be going to that in March. There's a Mega Ride in June or July in New York. So I'm going to be going to that. So I need to get a, a transit van before this, this stuff happens. So if you guys see any transit vans in the delaware area, Jersey, Maryland, PA, just let me know, guys. I, I need something like ASAP really bad just to get out there and, and meet more people. But guys, don't forget, if you guys enjoyed this fun little unboxing, don't forget to drop a like. And if you guys want to support the channel, as always, check out that link down below for the Frigo F1 Pro. Use code SHREDDY. Get $100 off your order. If the Frigo F1 Pro isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Any, any more questions before we end it? As always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Say bye, Dee Dee. Bye, guys. We'll Happy see you New soon. Year.